all you're all fifth years. You're all leaving school in the next few weeks, basically. You've all had to make a decision about about where you go from here. Do you go on to employment? Do you come back into the sixth form? Do you go on the dole? Or do you go on to college? Okay, what, what decisions have you made? Hey. I'm going to college to do our uh, graphics design. Okay, then, that, that's a gramble. Yeah. Where's, where's that base? Is that Scotland? South Street side. Or? That's south side, the main side. Mm -hmm. Nicola, what are you doing? Well, I hope to go to college. What of course? General art and design. So this is the gramble again? Yeah. What are you going to do? Graphic design at London. Uh -huh. John? Graphics design at uh London. -huh. John? <laughs> What, what was your interview like? I was very nervous. Yeah. It seemed to me that everyone else had got more work than me. Yeah. You know, that was really it. But then after it finished, it, you know, it was all right. What, what do you think will be different about Granville than school? It's, it's the older rather than younger people. It's, it's like college. There's few people to each room, so you get more space for equipment to yourself. What are we like teachers in the people taking part in the sort of courses, they're more on an equal basis than teacher pupil literature. How, how did you decide what course to go on? Did, did you know all about the different kinds of courses at Grendel? I mean, There are about 500 full-time students in the art and design section of Granville taking 12 different courses which cover the full range of art activities. In the two-dimensional sector, for instance, you could take the BTEC National Diploma in Graphic Design, or Photography, or Creative Software, or eventually go on to the BTEC Higher National Diploma in Design, specialised in Communications. In the three-dimensional area, you could apply for the BTEC National Diploma in Three-Dimensional Design, or Display and Exhibition Design, or even Fashion Design. Again, you, you could go on to the BTEC Higher National Diploma in Design, concentrating in three-dimensional studies. You could also consider the BTEC National Diploma in General Art and Design, or if you're 18 or over, there's the Foundation course, which leads on to degree level. Let's look more closely at two of the courses on offer. It's a fairly new course which explores all the aspects of graphics which can be generated by computers. You've only to look at your television screens in the evening to realise just how much computer graphics there are nowadays. And this is a constantly growing and expanding area. Students cover drawing, graphic design, use of colour, and of course the study of computer hardware and software. The knowledge of computer programming obviously helps, but it's not essential. Creative and visual ideas are important too. A lot of the projects are industry based, so you need to develop a very professional approach to your work. I applied at Granville to do a course in graphic design, but this course was introduced to us creative software, and I thought, Using computers with traditional graphics, I thought I'd take it. In the first year, we we was just taught the basics. For ex for example, uh, just basic drawing, uh, basic visualising, uh, basic computing. And as we moved on into the second year, we were uh, left to ourselves to get on with the work because we'd had the basic grounding. And <clears throat> if any problems did arise, then you went to the lecturer to get some help. Well, at school, it's more tighter how you work, but at college, it's more relaxed, more relaxed way of life of working, and you can get on, you can be independent, and do what you want. And you find you can work better. It's helped me to uh, become degree standard, and hopefully I'll be taking on soon. What I hope to do in the future, probably carry on with the work I'm doing, traditional graphics, with computer, I think it's a great future. From here, you'd either go on to a degree or higher national diploma courses, or to employment writing your own software, or working in filmmaking, advertising, television, in fact anywhere where computer generated special effects are needed.
For BTEC National Diploma in 3D Design, you'd follow a program of study having a balance of both practical and academic work. You'd study drawing, principles of design, technical drawing, photography, computer studies, history of design, and communication studies. You'd find yourself working in all sorts of materials, including metal, plastics, wood, and ceramics. I've gained, I've gained a lot of experience in four uh, material areas, wood, plastic, ceramic and uh, metals. College differs from school in many ways. Um, there's much freer atmosphere and also uh, you're not stuck to a strict timetable. I'd recommend it's a really good course. After college, you could go on to advanced courses in a specialist area, such as interior design, industrial design, package or product design, furniture design, silversmithing and jewellery, ceramics, exhibition and environmental design. Or you could find employment in design studios as junior assistant designers, craftsperson display assistants, or design technicians and drawing office assistants. If you would like more information on these courses, Please contact Granville College, Granville Road, Sheffield S2 2LR or telephone 760 271.